Okay, so we're here in the field now, uh, at least almost in the field. We're outside the ranch systems offices, but it'll serve as an illustration. And uh, we're going to get ready to install our uh, RS210 cell node, as a, in this case a, a frost node. So what we have here is the materials that we're going to be using. Of course, the uh, RS210 cell uh, with a solar panel itself here and uh, antenna, which I can uh, put back on. We often take it off for transport. Um, then we have, but then be careful if you do that, not to break it. Then we have the temperature sensor that we're going to be plugging in. And we have uh, the pole here that we're going to be attaching it to. That's a three-quarter uh, piece of conduit. And then we have some zip ties, some metal bands, and some tools. Metal bands and zip ties is always required for insulation, for, for tightening things up. So it's really, really simple. We are simply going to start uh, taking our plastic tin here. And then we are going to basically get the conduit fitting here. It may be tightened when, when you receive it. You loosen it and you slide it over your piece of conduit here. And then you just hand tighten it. And you can use the leverage of the whole unit to tighten it up really good. And then you have to remember before you raise the whole thing up, to attach the sensor. So here we have the uh, temperature sensor. This is the tip and this is the plug. And we have to remember where we decided to plug it in. In this case, we are plugging it into port one. That's the topmost to the right. And, and there is an indication on the front of the node that tells us that. And then in this case, we run it down, down the pole. It's only the top parts that you need to do before you raise it because as you can imagine, that's the parts that are going to be inaccessible by the time you raise the pole. And so you put a couple of zip ties on here just to get you a little down the pole. Okay, and we, we snip those. Okay, so we are ready to deploy now. We make sure the antenna is good and, and tight here, that the conduit is not loose and then we take the power here and plug in the bottom pole the one that says solar solar is at the bottom and we make sure we twist the locking connectors here to the um, in the in the clockwise direction so now it's ready to deploy and we have in this case just a demonstration uh, pole here but of course your actual mount in the field is going to be a t-post a line post whatever uh, structure that you want to attach it to. Now, of course, very importantly, you're going to make sure that the solar panel faces straight south. So make sure you rotate this to face straight south. Um, then you use your metal bands. I'm just going to put one on here. Okay, so we're going to go through and tightening these metal bands. It uh, should be pretty obvious to you that you would need, depending on your structure, a number of metal bands. And then what you're going to be doing is running this temperature sensor down this pole and then placing this temperature sensor at the height that you want to detect the frost. It's possible to have more than one of these on one node. There's plenty of ports, so you can do that if you want uh, frost temperature at different levels. Uh, higher, higher, higher locations are often predictors at, at at uh, what's to come, so some people have two or three temperature sensors on. Um, the other thing that uh, you may see is obviously a shield, a wide radiation shield that this temperature sensor is placed inside. That's essential for daytime temperature measurements, but for frost detection it's actually potentially better to have the frost sensor uh, completely exposed so that you get the fastest reaction to temperature and, and wind chill. So that's pretty much uh, the, uh, the installation of the node, it's now reporting. We can now go back online and uh, start seeing uh, the data come through. Thank you.